when Superman came out in 1978, audiences were stunned. This movie was a box office success, but also inspired every comic book movie ever since. I was 7 when I first watched Superman on VHS tape. I'd run around the house with a cape on my back made from anything from bed sheets to my mother's dupatta. I remember Superman was my hero. And this was the first time that I'd seen someone fly on screen. A lot has changed since then. Superman has been given a darker context and leading man Christopher Reeve, who passed away in 2004, is no longer the person that comes to children's minds when they think about Superman. This is a tribute to that movie which was a technical marvel and that man and actor who will always remain my first image of a superhero. The landmark streaking effect which made the titles pop towards the viewer and then float away in space was a pre-digital marvel. Title designer Richard Greenberg used a technique called slit scan in which a slit is cut out in a piece of paper which is placed between the camera and the title to be photographed. This creates the landmark streaking effect. The movements in John Williams' background score give you goose flesh from the time they first appear in the title credits to the time when Krypton is first introduced to the time when Clark Kent discovers that he is Kal-El and eventually discovers that he is Superman. This iconic theme has not been forgotten. Composer Danny Elfman, who was scoring the new Justice League movie, said that he used John Williams' original theme for his soundtrack. Christopher Reeve's performance as the stumbling, bumbling Clark Kent and the all-powerful Superman is full of nuance. Check out his body language change in this scene. And now his voice modulation, almost 30 years before Christian Bale did it in Batman. Lois, there's something I have to tell you. I'm really... Uh, I mean, I, I was, uh, at first, really nervous about tonight. Clark! How'd you get here so fast? I ran. From being faster than a speeding train in the movie, the real-life Superman, Christopher Reeve, fell off his horse in a race and injured his spine and neck in 1995. He would be confined to a wheelchair for the last nine years of his life. During this time, Reeve starred in the made-for-TV movie Rare Window, in which his moving portrayal of a quadriplegic man earned him a Golden Globe nomination. In the last years of his life, Christopher Reeve became the face of the quadriplegic community. He lobbied for their rights and also started the Christopher and Dana Reeve Foundation for their benefit. Off-screen, he became an icon, not just for the quadriplegic community, but also for the rest of us. For me personally, he was and always will be Superman.